last lowdown on the after party holdout. I'm ready to throw down. Is it gonna be the best night ever or what? Suppose so. Whatever is the matter, girls? I thought you were excited for the soiree. We were. We even put together a super special slideshow of all the great memories we made while doing the play. But Mr. Cranky Doodle says parties are not an appropriate appropriation of his expensive projector. Maybe one of us can turn that heart of coal into a diamond. If he's gonna be stubborn about it, so can we. Hey there, Mr. Cranky Doodle. I heard you won't let us borrow your projector for our party. You heard right. Ooh, she's gonna have a good old fashioned stubborn off. <gasps> I'm asking nice. The answer's no. Not leaving without it. You're gonna be here a while. Fine by me. Talking overnight. Got a sleeping bag. Floor's not comfortable. Air mattress, too. You'll hyperventilate. Got an air pump. Won't let you plug it in. Foot powered. You'll get a cramp. Eat bananas for potassium. They're not in season. You're right. I can admit when I'm beat. Ha! <laughs> Great party, you guys. Yeah. Good times. Oh, oh my god! Thanks for finding my flashlight. I've missed this. <laughs> Don't worry, girls. In the fashion industry, there is no room for compromise, and I happen to be an excellent negotiator. Good evening, Mr. Cranky Doodle. Uh, hello, Rarity. I am here representing the Cutie Mark Crusaders. I understand you are denying them the use of a projector. Yes, my projector. Uh, let the record show that Mr. Cranky Doodle has identified the projector in question. So, if I am understanding you correctly, this is your projector. Yes. And you take it home with you when the school day ends. Well, no, I can't do that. Mm, that's right, you can't do that. Can you? In fact, this projector cannot leave the school premises because it isn't your projector at all. It is the property of Canterlot High School, a public school funded by hard-working taxpayers such as Applejack and myself. So technically, is this not the taxpayer's projector? My projector, Applejack's projector! Therefore, did you not lie under oath when you identified it as your own? I didn't take an oath. You're out of order! This whole projector situation is out of order! I'm confiscating it as evidence. Wait! It's expensive, and it could be damaged if not cared for properly. Also, I pay taxes, too. You're saying you'd feel more comfortable if someone were there to supervise it? <laughs> did it! Oh, delighted we could reach a settlement. In exchange for the projector, he could attend the party to supervise said projector. <laughs> Wrong. Wrong. Right, but... Mr. Cranky Doodle, come quick! There's a full-blown math emergency backstage! A math emergency? Sweetie Drop's fixing to take the square root of negative one! It's worse than I could have imagined. I say I and imagined because... Just gonna borrow this. 
They threw a splendid party after all. They just needed a little coaching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where are those girls anyway? Uh, we gotta get back to. Uh, 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 here's where the problem really shifts into high gear. Take that solution and plug it into this function and the square root of the sum of the second prime number. Would you like to come over after school today to... Oh, uh, that sounds really cool, but I can't. I have a plant. What sort of plant? Just chores and stuff. Gotta go! I've always wanted to do this. It's gonna be so much fun! <laughs> without me. I've never felt so betrayed in all my life! No! We'll see you guys there. I'll have plenty of time to think about that. I guess their plans don't involve me. Driver, take me home! Uh, lady, I need an address. I guess I'll just... Be alone by myself while all my friends are having fun together without surprise! Happy birthday, Rarity! What? You didn't think we'd let you spend your birthday alone, did you? Well, you're of course not, darling. I knew you had something up your sleeve from the very beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, summer. You know, there's nothing like kicking back and enjoying the complete disaster. Are you okay, Rarity? My earrings gone. A one of a kind, irreplaceable work of art. I should know. I made it. I was reapplying my SPF when I realized my ear was <laughs> naked. I don't know what to do. It meant so much to me. And, and if you want our help, just ask. Oh, would you mind? I took the liberty of getting some equipment. Any luck? Not so. Wait, I got something. Could it be? Close, but not quite. Hold your horses. Now I'm beeping. Now that is definitely a... <gasps> False alarm. Oh. Well, not to worry. We've got plenty of time. I can't believe this. We've combed the entire beach and found Sorry, I've wasted your entire day. Are you kidding? We haven't even done half the beach. Who knows what else we'll find? What even is this? The sand is full of mysteries. But the sun's going down. I guess it's a lost cause. <sighs> oh, hold that thought. And this. service. Uh, that's not it, is it? It's not. But thank you, both of you. I had a wonderful day just the same. I'll just take one last sweep. Is everything 
everything okay, Fluttershy? I don't think so. I hear crying. <laughs> From a bunch of baby sea turtles. They just hatched and are trying to find their way to the water. But they're lost. Oh, no! Oh, how could I ever find a bunch of teeny tiny turtles on this great big beach? Tank here is a tortoise. Maybe he could help us? Hmm. That's not exactly the same, but it's worth a try. Lead the way, Tank. need to help them get to the water safely. Just over the sand dune, past those rocks and crabs, beyond that abandoned sandcastle city, and around that dangerous shipwreck. <gasps> oh, boy. Don't worry. We'll just carry them to safety. We can't. They have to make the journey on their own so they can imprint and return to this beach when they lay their own eggs someday. Well, then, the least we can do is help clear a path for them. Turtles, be free! Um, adorable tiny turtles? Tank? Fluttershy, look! The trail in the sand! Tank? Tank led the babies! Aww! <laughs> well done, Tank! Oh, they think Tank's their mommy. <laughs> Aww. Thanks for helping with the Crab Adopt-a-thon, everyone. Oh, not a problem. My whole life has been leading up to this moment. Voila! Crustacean Couture! Ooh la la! Let me help! Ow! Ow! Actually, how about I help away from the crabs? Huh? I could get us a snack! There's still an hour until the shaved ice stand closes! So oh, great! Mm. Cool! I promise I'll be back before it starts! <laughs> so sparkly. <laughs> As you can see, 
Applejack has a simply scrumptious country style that really works for her, so I will just make some simple tweaks. <gasps> Sometimes I just shock myself with how good I am. Uh, don't you think it's a pinch chilly for this get-up? Nonsense! You look gorgeous and, oh, so summer. <laughs> Cold. Oh, you're starting to head north for the winter. It may be fall, darling, but we in the fashion world are in summer mode. And now, so are you. She's sporty, she's stylish, and she needs a sensational summer look to dazzle all the other sports people. Uh, um, anyway. It's elegant, yet still sporty. She'll be bringing drama, along with the summer sun. That doesn't look like the sun to me. Ignore the nature, Rainbow Dash. Summer chic is a state of mind. We'll see you next time on Street Chic with Rarity. Until then, don't forget to strike a pose. Uh, Rarity, you got anything for winter? <sighs> Remind me to do our photo shoots indoors from now on. <laughs> Some say the best part of a music festival is the music. But to me, it's fashion! An old pair of cowboy boots will keep you from stepping in a steaming pile of, uh, fashion emergency. If you've got hang-ups with hangers, look for style right outside your window. <gasps> I believe they're famished for fashion. Well, actually, they do want me to regurgitate worms into their beaks. Innovative! Who's next? Make sure you can move, whether you're dancing at the festival or after a hat trick. Can't go wrong with a classic. Classic? You mean like... <laughs> classic Pinkie Pie. Ah! Oh, sorry. You know what's always in style? Personal responsibility. Earplugs for high decibel situation, a water bottle, flashlight and compass in case you get lost, the other kind of compass in case you need to drop And there you have it, my loves. At the end of the day, it's always in fashion to be utterly yourselves. See you at the festival! How cool is chemistry class? I can't believe I got to come up with my very own chemical formula. Jalapeno Supernova Cupcake Frosting! That wasn't the assignment. Aw, you sound just like my lab partners. Couldn't have done it without you guys! I just got the weirdest text from Timber Spruce. Pirate, plane, alligator, thumbs up, waterfall, golf club, ice cream sundae. What does it mean? Is it an inside joke? A hieroglyphic reference? A secret code? Ugh, my brain feels weird. I'm not used to not knowing things. Hmm, sounds like you could use a translator. I could help. Leave this one to me. Who can get me out of this textastrophe? As you are no doubt keenly aware, I am fluent in all the latest text slang. Phone lingo, <laughs> if I may. Oh, so you're just gonna... No, no, darling. Thank you so much. But what did I just say? Oh, he replied. Robot shooting star trophy? Oh! He's a witty one. 
He won a space robot contest! Fancy dress anvil high five napkin. Anvil? I don't know if. Shh, Donnie, Donnie. <laughs> Do you like ice cream? Who doesn't like ice cream? Check mark, check mark. Couple holding hands, sunshine, three balloons, spoon. <laughs> I'm sorry, but what just happened? Oh, well, I started by sending a dragon, because you're powerful, ice cube and snail, because you're cool, but take it slow, and then pyramid, well, for obvious reasons. And he was way into it, so in this last one, I was just double-checking. You and Timber Spruce have a date on Sunday at 3 o'clock to have ice cream. Thumbs up, smiley face. You're welcome. So, what are you thinking, Fluttershy? I'd start with a bird. Sounds good. Then, iguana, guinea pig, regular pig, frog, baby chicken the egg, baby chick out of the egg, all three see no evil monkeys, cat, 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 all the cats, and, um... Finish it with a squirrel on his hind legs. Sounds good. Sent? That was perfect! So what do we just send? A bunch of cute animal emojis. But what does it mean? <gasps> He says yes to the zoo! The zoo? Oh, the zoo! Thank you, Fluttershy! No matter what the problem is, adorable animals are always the answer. Timber Spruce wants to dress up like pirates and fly through waterfalls with an alligator while we eat ice cream with golf clubs for spoons? That's crazy! Golf clubs would make terrible spoons! Have you thought about maybe asking him what he means? Ooh, great idea. How would I ask that in emojis? Ugh. Calling? No calling! Who talks on the phone? Uh, sunset, wah! Hey, Timber Spruce? Sunset Shimmer here. Mm. Mm hmm That text you sent, Twilight Sparkle. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> that's what you meant. That's what Twilight thought, but we weren't sure. Thanks. You just boy talked. Mouth words. Phone. He's wondering if you're free to play pirate alligator mini golf this weekend. Oh, duh, of course. How do I say yes? Oh. Yes. What do you mean you failed? Uh, Mr. Cranky Doodle said I didn't have enough experience to pass the driving test. I have a retest on Monday, but it's my last chance, and he wants me to practice with someone more experienced. Oh, pff, darling, is that all? I can take you anytime you like. Don't fret your fritters. I can borrow Granny's truck. We could use my car. Well, I guess I'll go with... for the day. If you're going to study driving, you must do it in style. I call it stretch chic. Now, just a few things that you absolutely must know. Always have both sparkling and still water. You never know which one your passengers will prefer. Never play the music too loud or too soft. It has to be just enough that their heads bob, but not so much that they cover their ears. And finally, Always have your lights on the ready in case of an impromptu party breaking out. <laughs> your headlights? Rarity, I'm not going to prom. I'm just trying to pass my driving test. Darling, can't we do both? 
just a little bit. Oh, no, an inch to the left. Now, oh, careful! The shoulder. What's the shoulder? <laughs> Ooh, driving can be stressful, darling. Not bad, Sunset. You completed the left turn, the right turn, the U-turn, and the K-turn. But now comes the part where everyone fails. Parallel parking. Don't expect to... Done. Where on earth did you learn to do that? Mm, I just had to stretch my talents. I don't get it. Mm. Thanks for helping me out, Applejack. Think nothing of it. I've been looking for a reason to take a spin in the old jalopy. Who are you calling a jalopy? <coughs> See? Like she's fresh off the lot. Whew. I can't believe she's still in such good condition. Uh, she's something, all right. You girls ready for the ride of your lives? Now, the first thing you ought to know is... To fail? For anything! <clears throat> All right, Sunset. Use that wrench to loosen the bolts, and we'll get this tie replaced in two shakes of an apple tree. <laughs> and what if I don't have you and Granny Smith around? Well... Oh, this is unfortunate. Of course, I know how to change a tire, but uh, I wouldn't want you waiting around, so I guess... Uh, you fail? Is that fair? Hmm? Not to worry, I know exactly what we need. You do? An apple, Jack. <laughs> Sunset, over here. Sweet ride, Fluttershy. In you go, Miss Kitty. All right, I'm ready to clock some miles on this bad boy. Let's do this. It's the Dragon Safety Run. Start your trip with seatbelt time. Nine and three is where you'll be. Adjust your mirror to see things clearer. Check your little engine light to make sure that the trip's all right. The coolest drivers will admire... All right! ...properly inflated tires. So, what are we learning first? Turns, switching lanes, parking? Oh, funny you should ask. I actually have a rhyme for that, too. Now, Sunset, I know all this safety business might seem boring to you. And it is. But it's also... Uh, important. Tell me, what do you do even before you start the car? Turn up the radio! Oh, not that. It's the driving safety rhyme. Start your trip with seatbelt time. Nine and three is where you'll be. Adjust your mirror to see things clear. Very nice. If your driving's as good as your rhyming's, I'm sure you'll do just fine. Ins. I had some help from the best. Now it's time to pass this test. Just start the car. <laughs> oh! Why ever do you have that swine accompanying you to school, Applejack? It's photo day for all the clubs, and it's a young farmer's club tradition to have your critter in the yearbook picture. You're lucky you're only in one club. I'm in five this year. So busy. Well, young farmers is just one of the six clubs that I'm in. Uh, oh, I'm in five sports clubs. Sweeties, darling, lovies. It's not a competition.
Well, the scores are in, and it's a darn tootin' tie! Gah. You have got to be kidding me! After all that? At least between the two of us, we joined every single club at CHS. <clears throat> Not all the clubs. How did we miss that one? Uh-uh-uh, darlings. It's very exclusive. Is that my pig? Oh, well, of course. You can't expect me to be the president and the vice president. 